All right, we're back, and it turned out the room was still too large, so it's really, really stupid. Because, holy hell, what was the point of having all that tile out? But yeah, I'm like at the cusp of the largest room size. I can make a grand piano, cool. It really can't get much bigger than this, I guess. Yeah, otherwise, like, if it gets any bigger than that, it's not going to be considered a throne room. That's kind of dumb. Okay, yeah, I know, I did it. Can you get up here, Lulu? I'm ready to do the next leg of things. I would have much rathered if it was a blueprint, because this just looks stupid, but you know what? Yes, you did it. You built the throne room in the royal bedchamber. I know I did. They're just perfect. I can't think of a better place to rule Lulutopia from. No, no, no. I still have work to do on the rest of the place. Repairing the holes in the wall should be a priority and a roof wouldn't go amiss. But I think we can finally declare our castle to be officially complete. We all work together to build it and it really shows. Yeah, I can't, uh, talk. Thank you, Chaos, and long live Lulutopia. Can I just drop a blueprint, please? I don't want to do this by hand. It, it's so big! It's so beautiful! My heart might just burst with pride. I concur wholeheartedly, especially when I gaze upon the great staircase of Jeremiah. I throw my back out more times than I care to count when building it. God zooks! God zooks! And God zooks again! We have our castle thanks in no small part to my expert skill in laying the foundations, I guess. Huzzah! We have done it! We have built our very own castle! Together! Yippee! <clears throat> Please excuse that outburst. It was dreadfully unbecoming. Not at all. You have earned every right to celebrate, my lamb. This magnificent building is a testament to all our hard work. You know, Chaos, I was partly joking about making this the place the royal seat of Lulutopia. We all built it together, so I think we should all live here. It would be awfully lonely living in such a huge palace on my own, especially since your name is the one on the royal bedchamber. You just need to stop your quarreling and become friends again first. Uh, build the castle. Complete. That means I'm finally going to get my magic pencil. Dumb bullshit for me because I love it again. Yay! It's huge. Sketch scenes and structures onto blueprint. Oh, wait, so I can make a blueprint. Work in an area that takes your interest and you can sketch it into a blueprint and build it all over again somewhere else. Sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Give it a try and see if we can help you complete the rest of the tablet targets. Finish 10 more tablet targets and I'll give you your very own chisel. Okay. You've done it, Chaos. You've completed all of the targets on the tablet. But more importantly, you built for us a new home, a new castle, a new bright future for us all. It is strange, even after building an entire castle from the ground up, I still want to keep building. That's the magic of it. Perhaps that is what creation is. It is something that can never be complete. enough chit-chat for now, Chaos. Let's take another look at the stone tablet. Who knows how it might have changed. Hmm. Okay, well, let's take the tablet back. 
tablet target. Become friends with your dumb best friend. Oh, hello, everyone. Chaos feels a powerful force emanating from the tablet. Yay! <laughs> Gosh, Chaos, I can feel the force of your building power from here. You know, it's something that I've been thinking for a while now. I think you might just be the best builder in the whole wide world. Uh, yeah. First met, you were a little more than a hopeless apprentice, but now you can build with the best of them. Yeah, ho ho ho. So smashing job, chaos. Now with all these stone tablets, we're rimming with building power. And with that, the ancient builders' hopes and dreams that course through this island are finally fulfilled. There is one last job that I would request from you, young builder. Then we meet with me at my temple when you're ready. And come alone. Oh boy. Yes, we of Moonbrook shall take up residence here. It is the most fitting place for us. If you wish to see your business with the uh, hermit immediately, then go with my blessing. But I would not object if you stayed around to build for a while, first. It is up to you. I only ask that you continue to build to your heart's content and make this fair island your very own paradise. Yeah, I've been doing this for like almost 50 episodes. I'm all about building. The Harry Hermit wants you to go to the temple alone. I suppose I'll stay here then. You can stay too if you'd like. Go and see him when you're ready, whenever that may be. I feel like this is getting endgame the way they're like, don't worry about it unless you really want to. Which I do. I do want to. I wish I had rubies though. I don't know why I don't I don't got any rubies. Well, we're gonna re go right away. This is story time. Oh, now that you've finished all the targets on the blue stone tablet, the whole island is blessed with the power of building. And that isn't all, my boy. My memories have finally come flooding back to me. Thank you for putting up with all my selfish requests. After now, I think you've earned a full uh, explanation. And the citizens of this island will need to put their heads together and decide what they want to do from here on out. But, but, but there will be plenty of time for all that later. Right now, you need to put the finishing touch on the island. There's one final thing that needs to the building. Once that's done, I'll sit you down and tell you everything. Don't make any p plans. It'll take at least three days to go over it all. That's a lot of days. You've done it. The Isle of Awakening is finally filled with power creation. I'm as proud as p punch, Chaos. Of course, a builder's work is ever done. And there's always something that needs doing, but it's always it's good to, to stop and then now and then and appreciate your work. And now is as good, good, good as time of any. The island is thriving. It's bubbling with building power. There is one last thing it needs. A builder's banner. Follow me. I'll explain at the t t top. Builder's Banner, a flag that marks it out as a paradise for builders the world over. And as our resident builder, it's up to you to decide in the design for its emblem. Just fill the square you see before you with color blocks and the design you've drawn will be transferred directly to the flag. Remember, a Builder's Banner is like any other flag. It tells people what the island stands for. The more eye-catching it is, the better. Here, you need, it, need these. 15 blocks of charm. Use the color wheel to build blocks in whatever color you like, and plonk them down in the square section to draw your design. The north side will be the top. Don't fret much about making it perfect. You can always just change it later. And if you're at a complete loss in what to draw, don't worry. I have an idea of my own. What do you say? Would you like to see a sample? Sure. It's a hammer. Burgundy block. Red block. Green block. 
I like that, actually. You can follow this blueprint exactly or whip up your own design to decorate the builder's banner. It's up to you. So much cha okay, so you use <coughs> make this. That's actually really I like that. Yep. <laughs> Bonus if you make your own design though. Make the hammer to color. What if we make it a gold hammer? Oh, you need silver. Color. I don't have very much silver, but I apparently have a ton of gold. I only need a symbol. Got it. say that'll do, but <clears throat> that sucked. There we go. Oh, the ice cream truck is here again. It's so weird having an ice cream truck show up every day. They still only take cash, but they could be wrong. I'll oh, put the red blocks in the corner. I do think that's a nice accent. Oopsie. Making a big old golden and silver hammer. I know. 
Very good. Okay, we're making it. Slowly but surely. Thankfully, since I haven't been talking as much since I'm concentrating, I haven't been coughing, which is good. Coughing sucks. Should not exist. Why do we do it? Okay. We almost got it. Because I think as long as I fill the whole thing. Ah, those are doors. Ah, did I run out of green? Oh, I ran out of green. Okay. I don't really need the blueprint. I think I can just talk to him and be like, hey, this is cool. I need 30 more. Because I think I can just have and half. Chaos's emblem is complete! Ha ha! Yeah, that's a pretty cool silver gold hammer, right? Let's see if you finish designing the emblem for your builder's banner. Not bad, not b -b bad at all! Are you happy to put this on your flag? Yes. Oh, ha ha! Good, good, good to hear! Then let's transfer it to the banner! and create a new national flag for your b builder's kingdom. I did it. Uh. I obtained the banner of chaos. Ooh. How big is it? Oh, look at it. Oh, I love it. It's very good. Excellent work, Chaos. Your design looks terrific. All that's left to do is plant that banner in the place where everyone can see it. Once you do that, your kingdom will be well and truly complete. I know the p, -p reverent place. I'll see you there. It's not here. It's not here. Oh, is it here? Is that what you're telling me? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, hello, everyone. The Isle of Awakening becomes the Kingdom of Chaos. I am my own king. You too can be your own boss. You know. Everybody, yeah. You 
you choose to continue, you will temporarily be able to engage in online play, travel to other islands, and exchange mini medals. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Story time. You're doing great work, my boy. The banner of chaos looks absolutely fantastic. And now all the pre preparations are finally in order. Preparations for what, sir? Wow, where in the world did you get that flag from? It's incredible. It's filling me with building power. I feel more builderly than I've ever felt before. It is impressive indeed. I take it this is to symbolize the island attaining the pinnacle of building prowess. I think it's well smart. It suits Chaos's island perfectly. No, wait. It ain't just Chaos's island no more. It belongs to all of us. Just when I thought I had almost had my fill of building, you go and stoke the fire's creation that burned in this into a blazing inferno. There's no denying it, Chaos. You're the best builder in the whole wide world. Uh, guys, does anybody notice the clouds? Uh, everything's turning purple. Oh, what's going on? Who turned out the little lights? Uh, Malroth, what happened to you? Chaos, when did you build that? Flag! Malroth, Malroth, are you all right? Chaos, please, I need you to, to... Malroth? Slain by the scions of Erdrick, the high priest Hargon offered up his soul that almighty Malroth be reborn. Oh, so that's where the high priest went. Okay. 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 Ever since that moment, I have lain dormant within him, biding my time. No, Argon, you jerk! Okay, now we just have to wait for the text. Stuff. I have watched over his every move, and the builders too. Uh -huh. <laughs> this world of nothingness is now filled with the power of creation. The stage is finally set. Almighty Malroth's awakening is at hand. Oh no! <clears throat> he was just hang- Ah, it's you! None can escape their fate. Neither men nor monsters, nor even gods. The master of destruction will bring an end to all. You, you're Hargan. Hargan, but, but isn't he supposed to be dead? Yes, in the real world, I am dead. But in this illusory world of my own making, I am very much alive. W what do you mean? I mean exactly what I say. This world is nothing more than an illusion. An unreal realm in which I sealed away Malra's soul after the Scion succeeded in slaying him. <coughs> but now his reawakening is at hand. He is ready to be reborn once more as the Master of Destruction. Can it really be true? Our world, our lives, all an illusion? Indeed, I originally created this world of illusion to vex and befuddle the scions of Erdrick. No blade of grass, nor pinch of soil, nor any pathetic human, yourselves included, truly exists. Everything you see is but a figment of my imagination. Blemineck, that can't be true. Though this dream should have died with me, it has persisted long after dem my demise. Longer than I ever thought possible. I always thought it was strange that the children of Hargon were still so powerful here. 
They should have fallen apart after their leader died, but in this world, they he never really did. Alas, in the real world, I was not so fortunate. The detestable heroes escaped my illusion. <coughs> and proceeded to murder me, and then Malroth in cold blood. <laughs> But here my spirit survives, as does the Lord and Master of Destruction himself. <laughs> and so, it seems, does the power of creation, worthless though it may be. You call this the kingdom of chaos? Pa! It's nothing more than a kingdom of lies. And I suppose this is your nation's flag, hmm? Never has a more hideous sight assaulted my eyes. Behold, Builder, your fantasies of rallying allies to your side and saving the world are simply that, fantasies. <laughs> I've had just about enough of this. <clears throat> Give Malroth back, you beastly bully. What do you plan on doing with him anyway? Malroth? That's almighty Malroth, Lord and Master of Destruction to you, you ungracious worms. Ooh. He gotta save us. Take this, you rotter. Huh? <laughs> so this is what became of the ancient builder, reduced to manipulating humans to achieve your ends. Make on! Whoa! You blew up the hermit! <laughs> Hear me, pathetic wretches. Grovel before your creator. Cower before me and be spared my wrath. <laughs> it is time. When almighty Malroth awakens, he shall tear this illusion to pieces and return to the real world to bring about its glorious destruction. <laughs> Come, Malroth, let us away. Be reborn as the mighty master of destruction once again, and bring ruin to the world. It is your destiny. Ah, oh, come on, bring my friend back. What are we going to do, Chaos? What are we going to do? Poor Malroth and the poor Harry Hermit, too. All right, Lulu, keep your hair on. It ain't like you to get your knickers in a knot like this. Back in Moonbrook, I heard tell this world was not but a lie, a mere illusion. I knew not what to make of those words at the time. But if it's true, then what are we? Were we just all dreamed up by Hargan? I don't know about that. I don't reckon I'm an illusion. But that's just what an illusion would think. Plimenek! Maybe it's true. Loath though I am to admit it, we have no way of proving our reality is truly real or if it is merely a dream. Yeah, and so what? You can save your philosophin' for later. That good for nothing burnt nap Malroth. We gotta get him back. But it, if it is true what Hargon said, and Malroth really is the master of destruction, then. <laughs> Who cares if he is? And I don't care if we're all dreams or illusions or any other nonsense either. I'm not going to let that rotter get away with this. He barges onto our island, scares the living daylights out of us, makes fun of Chaos's flag, and does unspeakable things to Malroth and the Harry Hermit. <laughs> well, if that horrible, creepy villain thinks we're going to take this lying down, he's got another thing coming. Hmm? What's that? There's something there where the Harry Hermit always used to stand. Chaos obtains a builder soul. What a 
is this? The inspiring spirit of a builder, a key component for constructing the builder's bell. What was it, Chaos? It looked awfully shiny. Perhaps the hairy hermit left it here for us. Perhaps it can help us in some way. But no matter how shiny it is, I don't know how it could help us find Malrock. Let alone rescue him and bring him home. Mm -hmm. well, what in the world? I can feel the same evil energy emanating from that vortex as when Hargon was here. It must be a portal to wherever he took Malra. You know what this means, Chaos? You'll have to dive in there, defeat Hargon, and bring Malroth back. You're the only one who can do it. Poor Malroth. It must have been so hard for him. None of us realized the weight he was really struggling with. He always tried to be the strong one, the one we could all rely on. But when things got to be too much for him, he had nobody to turn to for help. I saw how much he was suffering, but there was nothing I could do for him. What about you, Chaos? Surely you don't want to leave it like this. There's still some time to make up with him. There's still a chance to save your friend. So what do you say, Chaos? Will you save Malra? Of course I will. I knew you'd agree. You're just not the type to abandon his friend in his hour of need. Oh, Chaos. I... that is... Well, looks like your friends have something to say to you, Chaos. Be sure to talk to them all before you head off. <coughs> Can I make the Builder's Bell right now, though? You are going, then. It pains me to admit it, but I fear that Hargon's claim that this world is a lie is no mere fabrication. My time on Moonbrook made me suspect as such myself. Indeed, after I experience in Mittenhall Castle, it is difficult to deny. The view looking over Renderak is proof alone. Feel responsible, Chaos. <coughs> For what happened between you and Malroth, I drove a wedge between you. I cannot stand to see things like this. It simply won't do. Please find Malroth and bring him back safely. Malroth with faster destruction. Verily, back in Moonbrook, he fought like a man possessed, like a beast, like the incarnation of destruction itself. <coughs> God, I hate coughing. And yet he had a kind heart. I'm sure that this will never change, whatever may befall him. I very much wish to dive into that portal with you, Chaos. <coughs> but from the moment Hargon appeared before us, I felt ill at ease in my own skin. Mayhap we have already begun to fade away. It shames me to have to rely on you to the very end, but it is for you and you alone to lay Hargon low and save your friend. <coughs> I know she should succeed. Oh god, gotta get some water. container of water of course this is the part of the game where everybody talks for like ever but yeah it'll be fine most likely
Do you think it's true what Hargon said about it, us all being illusions? What are that business with Melroth being the master of destruction? If that were true, it'd make you best mates with a god. Wouldn't that be Summit? Of course, same applies to all of us, too. We're all his friends, every blimmin' one of us. And I ain't got a problem with that. I'm happy to help the... To be the master of destruction's mate. You can tell him that for me, Chaos. Listen, boy, there's nothing to be gained from fretting over what might become of us. What's important now is that you find Balroth and bring him to safety and make Oregon regret kidnapping him from all your honors. Good luck, Chaos. We're all counting on you. Whatever horrible monster might stand in your way, I know that everything you've done for us, all those memories, and all that experience will help you pull through. And I'm not just talking about the Dia Tree. The others told me I have a Goldie Rocks and the Kazapple Cannon, too. If you can do all that, you can do anything. <coughs> just remember that we'll all be right here cheering you on and waiting for you both to come back safely. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, nothing, Chaos. To be honest, all that talk about illusions and awakenings went right over me head. But if there's one thing I do know, it's that look in your eye right now. There ain't nothing anyone here can do to stop you diving into that portal after Malroth. <coughs> all that guff about Argon and his imagination don't even come into it. You just want to save your mate, right? Right he does. You can't pull the wool over our eyes, Chaos. We know you like the backs of our biceps. After all, we're the dream team in it, and that means Malroth too. Nothing's ever gonna tear us apart. Not even some mad battered burk. <laughs> Still, I don't like the look of the sky one bit. What if it's Argon's right? What if the world really is gonna fade away? We might not have long left. But whatever happens, we're all gonna be here when you get back. I swear on me dad's grave. Take care out there, won't you? Won't you? And bring Malroth back. Yes. You've spoken with everyone then. I don't know what's waiting for you on the other side of that portal. I don't even know for certain if you'll make it back in one piece. And chances are you won't be able to take much in the way of materials with you. Your mind's made up. You're still gonna go, aren't you? Your mind's made up. And just make sure you're prepared before you take the plunge. Once you're ready, all that's left to do is step up to the portal and jump in. Uh... Yeah, I'm ready. This is it then, Chaos. Now you haven't forgotten the Builder's soul that the Harry Hermit left behind, have you? And you're equipped with the best weapons and tools you can make. Are you absolutely sure that you're ready to leave? Yes. Very well. Remember, Chaos, you're the only one who can save Malroth. And I need you to bring him back. Who else can I rely on to maintain order in Lulutopia? This island isn't, a, island isn't the same when you two aren't around. So you have to promise me that, you, <coughs> that you'll both come back safe and sound, all right? I swear to God, barely coughing most of the day. And I start playing a game that has any amount of narration, and my throat is like, uh uh. I hate, like, I, I just abhor coughing so much. It is literally the worst. <coughs> Good luck, Chaos. We'll all be eagerly awaiting your safe return. Cool! Stop fucking talking so I can stop coughing. Saving. Loading? Oh, the area. I was like, loading what? <coughs> you are tainted. Oh, I don't like that at all.
unworthy, pitiful. But you may yet be saved. I proffer you a chance to break free from those constraints. Merely step forth from the darkness. Come to me, my child. Is it me? It's very dark. Hello? This seems like a ritualistic sacrifice. <coughs> oh, it's me. But where am I? I don't remember anything. Oh, mighty Malroth Lord and Master of Destruction. I can see you've become quite attached to that form, hopelessly weak though it may be. Perhaps a few sacrificial lambs will allow you to see the truth. Oh, am I actually... Oh! I'm Malroth! Oh. Sorry. I forgot to focus on the game, so there was no sound. I just thought it was... Uh, ah, what's happening to me? Yes, more. Give me more. No. What's going on? Huh, as you wish. Woo! Uh, my head, I feel dizzy. Something's not right. Ah! No! Yes, I can feel it. I need more! More! No! My friend! can heal themselves. <coughs> What's happening to me? I'm, I'm fading away. No, Malroth. Fading away? Not at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. We must do away with your pathetic shell so that you may return to your truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. What he said. Hmm? Where did these bodies come from? Lulu? Rosie? Anessa? Who did this to you? <coughs> Has it not dawned on you yet? You killed the Malroth! You! Nothing whets the appetite more than a few freshly sacrificed souls, would you not agree? I killed them? No, you liar! I would never! Never! Oh, but you did! Pity them not! The fools are more useful in death than they ever were in life. They died so that you may be reborn. It is an honor barely comprehensible to such base creatures as they. <coughs> you, you tricked me! I'll make you pay for this with your life! No! Cass, how did you? <coughs> no, I never meant to. Don't worry, you can't kill me. I'm too cool. Uh, this, this can't be happening. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh, Malroth. Yes, it is exactly as I envisioned. Your mind has been cleansed of all the repugnant memories that it had accumulated. 
Now, now, Roth, arise once more as our lord and master of destruction. Arise! No! Uh... Your arms are very large. Chaos. Chaos, please. Help me. I'm coming! Where am I? My friend! Malhalla, the origin of oblivion. Am I gonna start off right there? Yep. Damn, there's a lot going on. Oh, it's playing the good music. Huh. Help, help, some blobby save me before I goo myself. Oh no, I have <laughs> nothing in my bag. It's okay, I I'm coming, I'm coming, don't. Oh, oh no, oh no. Fl oh, well, bye. <laughs> Shit. I can't fly here. <coughs> Can I build here? Don't worry, bro. I got you. Uh, I'm playing the good music. I really want to play Dragon Quest Eight again. I love Dragon Quest Eight. Very sad, but very good. Are you a metal slime? Hello? You came to rescue me, thanks. Wait, are you a woman? What are you doing here? You're searching for your friend. Are they a woman like you? I'd love to help, but I can't say I have a glimpse any other woman's around here. Sorry. Time to chew the splat. We've been spotted. We'll be squished if we stay here much longer. I just don't understand how something so gruesome could happen here. This is supposed to be the promised land. Oh, pardon me for blobbering on. Come on, let's bounce. Luckily, I'm pretty good at that. <coughs> Boy, what are you two doing up there? Don't you realize you're danger? Get down out of here this instant. Come on, move your bones. What's up? Wait a sec, you're a human! What's a fleshy fiend like you doing here? State your business. What did you say? You're a builder? You've not come to launch an attack on Hargan's unholy realm, have you? Sorry, but the rules say no builders allowed in the promised land. Now stay still while I disconnect your head bone from your neck bone. <coughs> I don't have time for that. Well, I'll be squashed, squished, and squooshed before you have a chance to disconnect anything from anything else. Well, maybe you're right. In that case, we better evacuate to a spot where I can do the job safely. And I know just the place. Follow me. Whoa. Evil ants. Oh, sh shit. I can get above level 30 now. Hello, my friend's back again. Watch out for that thing. It's armed and dangerous. Vile vines? 
Hey, what about this? What's this? Yep. Terrible talent. Ooh. Oh, those vines are... <laughs> They're moving. I don't know if I like that. <coughs> also, are these dragon scales on the ground? So many materials to build with. Yeah, those are literally just scales. Dude, it's a whole new building world. Okay, anyway, so I keep getting distracted by this. Ooh, what's that? Pox glove. Ew. That sounds nasty. Who's <coughs> trapped in that hole? Help, help, I can't escape. There's no way out. What a plug, he must have fallen and got all flustered. Oh, nothing we can do for him now. You wanna save him? Are you completely doolally? You didn't realize that's a monster, don't you? The natural anonymous is a human like you. Yeah, we're a weird one, all right. I don't want to die in a, this thinking hole. Get a grip, will you? What are those wings for? You can just fly out. Huh? Oh, yeah. Though I can. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. I was a bit of a tizzy just then. Don't thank me. Thank this monster level freak. I don't love to down here, but this dumb skull insisted on helping. Humans are an odd bunch. Anyway, I'm leading these two to a safe place. Might as well tag along. Don't want to fall in any more holes, do we? Okay. Move your bones. Oh. Evil Wolfmans. Oh, is this special grass? It's just grass. And then cinders and uh, rotten meat, manky meat. I don't know how I feel about that. Spoiled meat that spews forth a foul aroma. Gross. Oh, blood red sand. Floaty rocks have anything special going on? Yep, they're just stones. Oh, come on, bro. And that's the place just up ahead. We'll be out of arm's way in there. Come on. <laughs> arm's way ahead. <laughs> anyway. Glad we're getting into the end game. We got all this stuff. Yep. <coughs> I don't know. I'm over here. Okay, we have to follow him. Is that a... Oh, are those all dead death machines? Oh, I thought I was finished for sure, though. What is this place? Never seen anything quite like it. Looks like an old gunkyard, all these broken bits and blobs lying about. <coughs> Chaos, was it? I'm Eris Splottle. Thanks for re rescuing me before. And I'm Gremville. If you hadn't saved me from that hole, I probably would still be stuck in there. I'm not going to do the lisp because it's too much right now. <laughs> Name's Griswold Sergeant Griswold to you. Now that we got all the instruction, introductions out of the way, it's time to get down to business. Seeing as we're all safe and sound, I can finally get around to severing your skull from your shoulders. 
と Wait, Guri's world. He came here to find his friend, not to squish us. Let's air him out. Your friend's called Malroth. Have I seen him? Can't say I know anyone who goes by that name. All right, I won't kill you. Couldn't live with myself if I killed someone who's only trying to save his buddy. I'll kill you after you've saved him instead. It's only fair. <coughs> Done. Just so you know, this place is bone dry when it comes to materials. Your building trickery won't fly here, so don't try anything funny. <laughs> Leave him alone, Goris World. Wald, there's a much greater threat that we should be worried about. Those enormous arms. What about those shadowy monsters? I've been sensing incredible destructive power in the air recently. Got a little feeling in my bones, but I reckon there might be a connection with what's going on now. What's this? Before we start getting into what's going on around here, you want to know where here is? Well, let me tell you. This planet is nothing more than a tiny blob of goop gloop floating in the sea of nothingness. <coughs> the unholy promised land, reserved for the children of Hargun's monster minions. <laughs> High Priest Hargun says we're to wait here until salvation comes. But if things continue like they are, we'll be splattered before that slime ever arrives. <laughs> Try not to get so upset, Aerosplottle. I think I've just realized something very important. Oh god, what's that? All the confusion, I forgot how hungry I was. You make me something to eat, gals. That's the oh so important thing you realize, or throw me a bone. Why are you asking favors from a builder? He's supposed to be the enemy. <coughs> you wouldn't know the first thing about food. You don't even have a stomach. I'm gonna die, and I must have a last meal. Yes, yeah, so you can find some vile vines and stick them on a bonfire for a bit. Sure, to make for an appetizing snack. Yeah, you should find familiar vile vines outside. You know, they're squirming plants that look like tentacles. God damn it! Oh, I hate coughing. Once you got some, just cook them on a bonfire for a bit. I want to see what scrummy dish you can turn them into. I'm starving. Now I can make stuff. Um. Where is there a bonfire? Are there any bonfires? Is there a builder's bench? <coughs> Chat. Some oil. Okay. I need to be able to build though. I'm probably going to stop soon though because my the coughing is like... There's been so much talking. It's just getting worse. Which is really annoying. Because I'd like to just play the game in peace. But at least we've made it into... Into the end game. Yep. Oh, are you okay? There's no response. It's just a pile of scrap metal. But I can't scrap it. Where the hell do I make a bonfire? Oh, it's right there. Jeez. Sorry, everybody. I don't know. What is that going to turn into? bunch of wriggly vines. Delicious. I wonder if I can cook the pox flat. God, or pox glove. Ah, that looks incredibly unappetizing. But it, yeah, we've made it quite far. And I think we're pretty close to the end, actually. Oh, I can cook the rotten meat. Mm, delicious. <coughs> ah. Sorry, everyone. Wait, what did I make? Um, tenta, tenta gliatel, a dish of slimy spaghetti that writhes and wriggles in the mouth. I hate it. <coughs> that looks yummy. Who would have guessed you could rustle up a plate of delicious tenta gliatel from 
some vines. Can't wait to get that stuck to get stuck in. May I? Yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Given what you had to work with, I'm impressed you managed to make such a mouthwatering meal. This stuff stinks to high heaven. And it tastes so bitter. It's absolutely delicious. You should try some chaos. You won't be disappointed. <coughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. Hello? Warning, building activity detected. Warning, building activity detected. Bleep, bleep, blue. Ah, did you hear that noise? It's gonna happen to us. Those machines gonna come to life and try to kill us? You hear that noise, right, Cass? I can't stop wibbling with fear. I'm sure I came from somewhere in this room. Put my mind at ooze if you can help me find out what made it. Life science detected. Execute reboot program. Yes. Bleep, bleep reboot program initiated. Accessing data cache. Please wait. Reboot program failed. Insufficient power remaining. Please recharge fuel cells. Try again. <coughs> well, that's oozier said than done. I mean, where are we going to get an energy to recharge him from? Are we learning how to make? Uh. <laughs> Energization station blueprint. Oh, so all I have to do is add some pipes. Oh, what's this? A blueprint? If you can connect the pipes to transfer the energy from the broken killing machines into the working one. You're a genius. Pitcher, after the resumes, that's plenty, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Oops. Yeah, we can go. <coughs> God, I'm just sorry, because, like, obviously, there's not a whole lot of areas I can cough. And I hate coughing right into the mic, because, yeah, it's gross. Da 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 da, energization station complete. I did it. Power source detected. Commencing energy transfer. Power systems fully operational. Initializing reboot program. Reboot successful. Greetings, Assault Android number 04H at your service. You can call me NO4H. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for mending that robot, Chaos. You builders really are glupendous. Estimating time spent offline. Computation failed. What happened here? High turbulence detected in aura field. Searching memory banks. Possible match found. Has Doomsday come already? <coughs> What's up with this rust bucket? As to me, like his circuits are fried. Bleep bleep rudeness detected. I would merely like to refresh my data banks with the latest available information. Please tell me what happened here. Data banks updated. Malhalla under attack from giant arms and shadow monsters. It is as my calculations predicted. Doomsday has come. Keep blobbering on about this Doomsday, but what does that even mean? Doomsday is the day we are doomed to die. The day everything returns to nothing. The end of the world as we know it. The destruction is already at an advanced stage. This facility may not be safe for much longer. The giant arms will be searching for any remaining life forms. They will destroy this place and exterminate us all. <coughs> well, thanks. Oh, they found us. 
Shadow Fiends won't be far behind. We've got our backbones to the wall here. We'll have to fight our way out. Oh, well. Slimy state. Gross. <coughs> a malodorous cut of meat with a miry, mucky texture. Well, boys gotta eat. But I think I'm going to go ahead and save. We're gonna finish it for now because it's already been over an hour. And I can't really do too much more talking because apparently um, the last couple of recordings have... Uh, I've had like two quarts of water over the course of these recordings, by the way. Uh, but my throat is apparently not at uh, the... Uh, not as healed as I thought it was. Just, it's really agitating and making me cough more, and I apologize for that. Uh, we will have more recordings, though, and we're almost done with this game, and then I can start on something else. So, uh, yeah, thank you once again for being here for another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2.